Break the camera was the instruction from the dead Sheikh's mosque. There was a moment of tension and some rocks were thrown, but not everyone wanted to fight. They were told to go home and most listened. For those who didn't, the police fired tear gas. The United Nations accused Sheikh Abu Bakr Sharif Ahmed of recruiting Somali fighters for the group Al-Shabaab. He denied it. He's the third Sheikh shot dead in two years. The son of one of the other sheikhs killed has also been accused of recruiting for al-Shabaab, but says he is just a chicken farmer. It's a sign that they are looking for a reason to eliminate someone. This is how they start, by accusing you of being a al-Shabaab recruiter or supporter. It was the same with Sharif. Human rights activists are demanding an investigation into the killings. We asked the man in charge of security for the county if police were involved in any way. No, no I, I think that's not true. And uh, we have had uh, non-Muslims who have also been killed around. There are quite a number. So we should, uh, as a country, we should be condemning this as criminal act. There's mounting pressure on the government to improve public safety. <laughs> Attacks have increased since Kenya sent soldiers to Somalia to fight al-Shabaab. In the past two weeks, 12 people have been killed in a church shooting and explosions at a restaurant. There is a fundamental lack of trust between some Muslims and the Kenyan authorities. During the sermon, even the imam voiced the community's concern that somehow the Kenyan authorities are involved in the death of the sheikhs. For now, efforts to prevent riots appear to have succeeded. But people are seething, and they want to know who's killing their leaders. Tanya Page, Al Jazeera, Mombasa, Kenya.